Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I'll be showing off some uh, ways to, that you can convert decimal into binary. Uh, I'm doing this basically just because I've been working with it a bit um, with the calculator and stuff, um, and I thought I would show this off. Uh, the first, I'm gonna show two methods today, and um, the first one is basically an exact reverse of this. This is my uh, binary to BCD decoder that I made a long time ago here and it it just converts binary number into BCD using the double dabble algorithm. Now if you imagine taking that and running it backwards that's basically what this does. This takes a BCD input number and outputs it into binary. So basically what this is useful for is if you have an a player input or a, a user input and you don't want them to have to input a number in binary they would you would use something like this because you can just use decimal since it's in BCD you can just use um, individual uh, little ROM units and uh, shift in a number and then you have that number in binary I'll I'll talk about that a bit more later, but um, let's just do a quick demonstration of this. So uh, say I wanted to figure out what 64 is in binary for some reason. Maybe I don't know binary very well. Uh, so let's just enter in six here for the tens digit. No, that's not six. I'm stupid. There we go. That's six. And then four. 64. And then that that should output just this one right here that is indeed 64 in binary uh, check it if you want I'm pretty sure I know my binaries um, if I turn uh, let's, let's do 255 that would be all of the outputs on there we go that's 255 in binary um, as you can see this this kind of device is really useful. I've actually used this myself just because I'm lazy and I don't want to like go and pull up a calculator to figure out what some number is in binary or figure it out myself. So I can just type it in on this thing and uh, it tells me what that number is in binary. Now there is a slight problem with this. is It's that it's it, although it is the same speed and size as my binary to BCD one, it it's still huge. I mean, if you want a substantial amount of inputs, say like three or four digits, you need to expand this a lot. Now, it turns out there is a much simpler way to do this, since uh, a human isn't going to be entering all of the numbers at once, right? They're going to be entering like one, two, three for 123. So what you can do is you can do it sequentially. Now I I, uh, I took the idea for this design from someone I can't remember who it was, but um, basically what this is here is you have one binary input and then a enter button that adds that number. So say I want to end the number one, enter in one. And that that's going to save it to this uh, bud. Uh, piston here, memory. Now I have a one here. Now, say I want to en enter in another w number like zero to make it ten. Basically, what's going to do is it's going to multiply the number that already has in that register by ten and then add the new number. So in this case, this is zero. So I'm putting the next digit in, and then it's going to be ten. And then if I do it again, it'll be a hundred. And that's a hundred in binary. Um, and you can check it if you want. And then uh, this button here just clears it. Now, what this is useful for is I can enter in. It's like it's like a button panel. Um, I can enter in a certain number, like eight. Let's do eighty. Actually, let's do. Let's let's go ahead and do 64. 6 add number. Now it's going to multiply 6. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot to click.
clear it. Clear. There it is. Now it's clear. Yeah. Okay. So six. Add number. And then four. Add number. Now it's added six. Multiply that six by ten, and then added four to that. And that gets us our answer of 64 in binary. Now, uh, I'm not going to go in too in depth on how this works. Basically, you have an adder, and uh, it takes the previous number, comes it o brings it over here. This busing here brings it to the uh, inputs of the adder it needs to to multiply by 10, and then it adds a new number into that. Um, use, sometimes utilize, utilizing the uh, carry line to uh, add numbers in in certain places, and uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, I this this device here has actually been in the world download for quite a while, so um, I don't need to update it yet for this. Uh, it's, I'm still working on the computer. I'm probably not going to update the world download until that's a bit more stabilized. But um, yeah, anyways. Uh, for those of you who are still sticking around and watching this video, I guess I can give a little sneak peek in my project over here. This is what I've been doing with the calculator here. Um, you can see I've used these uh, sequential uh, DCD to binary things for the calculator over here. That's actually what I made it for. Um, and then some stuff for the uh, screens here. So. Uh, this is where it comes in pretty handy. I can uh, type in a number. Let's type in one, two, three. One, two, three. And then that, that's on the screen. Um, that's just how that button panel is laid out. And then uh, I'm stuck. Uh, this this device here shifts the number so the so it displays on the screen. That's not important for the uh, calculation into binary. And then that would be 123 in binary um, for the actual calculation part. And then I can uh, switch screens using this one for the uh, bottom number. Enter in something like uh, 456 or something. So that's pretty much how this is going to work. Um, and then there'll be another button panel over here for uh, operation uh, mul add, subtract, multiply, divide, that, that stuff. Um, and those are that's the output screen. I haven't I haven't wired anything to that yet. And uh, this just clears it. So now it's going to be at zero. And uh, I can't remember. Did I wire it? Yeah, I did. I wired up the clear for these as well. So um, yeah. Basically, that's that's it for this video. Um, this device here, uh, I can't remember who it was who originally came up with this concept. If I remember, I'll put it in the description. But um, it's very, very useful for input devices and stuff. Uh, since it's in the world download already, um, you guys can use it in your own builds and stuff. Um, very useful device for making calculators and stuff. So yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you next time.